Uh, mtazamaji karibu sana na shukuru kwa sababu tunazidi kusonga mbele pamoja. Kabla nikukumbusha kitu ambacho kimenilete hapa kuna mambo ama kuna maneno ambayo ninataka kuangazia ama nataka nikukumbushe kwanza kabla ya mimi kuanza kuzama ndani kwenye swala nzima ambalo limenileta hapa siku ya leo. Wakati wa uh, Rais Hayati Mwai Kibaki pamoja na Raila Moro Dinga walipishana 2007-2008 kukakuwa na post violence election uh, this time round walikuja na kitu inaitwa nusu mkate agreement was nusu mkate wakati ambapo rasmi mstahavu uhuru kenyata pamoja na Raila Moro Dinga walikuwa na issues walileta kitu inaitwa handshake sasa tumekuwa na maandamano na siku ya leo Jumatatu ndio tungekuwa na mother of maandamanos vile nilikwambia jana and this one this time round inaitwa bipartisan if you check the three it's due to me the first word they can use to in to accommodate the three names ukianza okay, tukianza nusu mkate tukuje handshake sasa tuko bipartisan if you check is the characteristics of these words zote ni political whatever the differences by person it means that involving the agreement or cooperation of two parties that usually oppose uh, uh, oppose each other policies for example Reda Moro Dinga is opposing this government because of high cost of living high tax Uh, in, ex, in ex, uh, what uh, what we call ipc uh, vitu zingine kama gani uh, poto kufungua server so something like that hii ni hapa partisan ya nani ya uh, william samuel ruto and kuna watu wao wanasema kwamba ruto hatutaki handshake ruto hatutaki handshake let me tell you this ruto hawez kuja na handshake like the way tulianza na nusu mkate and nusu mkate was for my kibaki wakati uhuru kenyata alikuja haikuwa kwamba tena ni nusu mkate ilienda handshake sasa wakati kwa sababu anajua kwamba akienda okay mara ya kwanza kama uhuru angeenda nusu mkate watu awange kubali wafasaka awange kubali ili pidi akachukua handshake wakati huu ni mapema William Ruto hangechukua handshake kwa sababu angefanya nini wangesema anatumia ile script ya nani ya uhuru kinyata yeye amekuja na yake inaitwa bipartisan nimekwambia bipartisan ni mahali ambapo wanasiasa wanapigania political parties there's a difference of political parties the ruling and opposition they oppose each other So that's all about that one. So kwa wale ambao mnasema kwamba handshake handshake hatutaki handshake haiko. Kitu iko sasa ni bipartisan. Na nikikuja nitakueleza hii bipartisan vile itafanyika because tumeona wa, wa bunge uh, wale vinara ambao wa kutoka Senate and Parliament walikuwa wanapiga mdomo sana. Wamesema kuna vile wamekuti kuti maneno yao meaning they are taking this to Parliament to to go through by partisan as is due whatever but i'm coming back to tell you ila kini ile ambayo imenileta hapa kwanza ni ruhusu ni kuambie yesterday is just some few hours around 12 hours since eh uh, we Raila Moro Dinga ali 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 ali, 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 ali nisema dumizi na gani alikatisha maandamano ambayo yalikuwa nafaa kufanyika siku ya leo Haya hii ilikuwa ni mega maandamano. Mama ya maandamano hapa njini Kenya na dunia yote. Hatujui wangestorm wapi ama ni state house. We don't know. Lakini walikuwa wamejipanga. Hata walikuwa wametumia kwa kutoka mapema walikuwa wanafanyaga testing testing. And today guys uh, since yesterday when the president asked Raila Moro Dinga to go 
to dialogue of which are written by partisan through parliament and later Ramon Odinga accepted the call. It's a few hours, 12 hours at a sequestration. Today in the morning, the DPP Nodin Haji, who is the DPP, uh, and withdraw case ambayo, ilikuwe imeshika wale wandani wa azimio, viongozi wandani ambao walikuwa naongoza maandamano hapa njini Kenya. Ukikumuka siku ya kwanza, uliona sifuna, akikura tiagaz, akienda kule, anajosha macho, anambia, osi yesi njoo tuonge buwana, wacha kutotoka wana nji. So, ukure eh, KICC. So, this, eh, walipere kwa walishikwa. If you remember, Sifuna was arrested. Uh, this guy from Unguja MP was arrested. So around six people were arrested on the first day. And these six people were leaders of from elected leaders from Azimio. And wali 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 50,000 as cash paid na kesi kawekwa they were supposed to go I think this month this month they were supposed to go to court uh, kujibu mashtaka yara ambayo yalikuwa wameshitakiwa. So, hours later, after Raila Moro Dinga and President William Ruto wamepatana, you know, for the first time since William Samuel Ruto Azariwe. Yesterday was the only day ambayo alikosikana kanisani. Siku ambayo hakuwa na kanisani ni jana. Peki yake. Rila Moro Dinga jana pia hakuwa na kanisani. Kwa sababu, waliana wakapatana. Na Ruto wakasungumza kwanza. Hini kitu ipo. Walipatana mapema wakasungumza. Ndiyo padae wakafanya nini? Wakakuja kutuwa my statements. Let me tell you this. Those hours later after hawa mipatana wamesungumza. Na wametuwa mapresa. Ma wametuwa press. Now, not in haji, through today morning, I'm assuming kwamba, the six leaders of Azimio who were arrested or who had a case, uh, who had a case in court, the case has been withdrawn. And the case was the watchers with participating in the unlawful demonstrations and malicious property damage. Wata ni kuambiri kitu ambayo kwa meshitakia wakina Sifuna, Edwin Sifuna, Opio, Wandai, and we have Richard Chonga, we have Amina Raura, we have George Obure, we have Esther Oromi. The six people were accused in court with participating in the unlawful demonstrations and malicious property damage. Mbona kesi mekua with the drone? Because yesterday when Rira Moro Dinga was addressing the issue, when he was responding to the call of William Samuel Ruto, Rira Moro Dinga first demanded that those as new leaders who had a case, who had a case in court because of demonstrations, the case first is called with the drone. And that was the first thing. And that's the first thing we have seen here. So from the response, from the response from Reda Moro Dinga, the first response has been accepted, of which uh, the, the, the readers from Azimio, who uh, uh, had a case in court, the case has been withdrawn by DPP Nodini Haji, meaning there will be no case again of these demonstrations against Sifuna, against Richard Njonga, Amina uh, or Raura, George Obule, and Esther Oromi. Do you hear me? This reminds me when Matiangi was appearing to where? To uh, headquarters of, uh, uh, what, 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 what do you call this one? Uh, this investigation, whatever. You know what I mean. When Matiangi he was called, the leaders from Gusi visited uh, William Samoruto. The following day, DPP 
and withdraw your case. And it's the same case. After Raila Morodinga meeting with William Samoy Ruto, the first response, William Ruto Ameti, this means that Sava itafunguliwa. Razima yari madai Raila Morodinga alikuwa meweka yatafanyika. Ikishindikana kama hawatafanya hivyo. Tena watu narudi kwa maandamano. Nitakuja padani kuambie mbona Ruto aliamua kuti na kuitika wito wa Raila Morodinga na hakufuata njia ya Rigathi Gashawa ambayo kwamba asiketi na Raila Morodinga. Hii itakuja nikwambie. But what I'm going to here. So, I want to read a statement from Nodin Haji. This statement it can make you feel like eh, this this guys is the other case walikuwa wameke wazi kwa za na ukweli. Waliweke wa kesi kwa sababu wao walikuwa watu wa opposition. The statement from uh, from Nodin Haji. I want to read the statement before I give you the statement from uh, uh, the, the lawyer Dansan Humari of Azimio. Now the case is the DPP through prosecute prosecution. Let me let me just see it clearly. The DPP through prosecution cancer informed the court that for the sake of dialogue and a peace, they sought to withdraw the case. Do you see? Just underline the word. Uh, the word. Uh, let me just let me repeat. The DPP through prosecution counsel informed the court that for the sake of dialogue and peace, they sought to withdraw the case. Meaning, they withdraw the case because of dialogue and peace. For the sake of dialogue and peace. Meaning, if, if a case has been taken to court, and really it is a serious case, and it has an evidence. A come see a political case. You can't withdraw a case like just any mutanatoa pesa kwa mpesa. When you accuse someone a mefoni makosa, go and charge him or her in court because mefoni vibaya. But now if you say this one, for the sake of dialogue and peace, they have decided to withdraw the case. Meaning, he, he case Samayo, about with just participating in unlawful demonstrations and malicious property damage. And by the way, it is not your pure one die. Edwin Sufuno who was reading the Mandamano. It is Reda Moro Dinga and Martha Karua, Karonzo Musioka, as the chief principals. They were the only people who were leading Mandamano Tukupamoje. Now, what I mean, ladies and gentlemen, what I mean, ladies and gentlemen, by this moment, we are going to see Raira Atena Keti Naruto. Now, Waki Keti Naruto, si et kwamba, Raira Anena Kutulia to even Kufunga Macho. He is going to help Kenyans to understand the real character of this government. He is going to unmask this government. First of all, for the first meeting, we have seen some, some light. I mean, if you see here, when the, the DPP says that they have withdrawn the case because of the sake of dialogue and peace, it means that the case was based in political uh, uh, differences. If it was a serious case, and if that Sifuna led demonstrations that led to the damage of properties, then Sifuna was supposed to be charged in court because of what? Alikwana demonstrations, ambazo, zirileta damage ya property. And again, we were to ask a question to the government. Where were the police when the damage, Amokati damage in Kuna Fandika? Because according to the constitution of Kenya, during demonstrations, 
when you have the notice, the work of the police is to maintain law and order. The work of the police is to protect people who are uh, uh, picketing. The work of the police is to protect property. And again, that was the question that we had to ask you guys. But because Raida Asha Semwa was a funny dialogue, and this dialogue in a tofungulia muangaza kidogo, muangaza ime tofungulia ni kwamba, he kese kinesifuna na watu sita ambao liko mewekewa wa kuweza kushiriki and love demonstrations and malicious property damage. Hai kwa kitu ya ukweli, ilikuwa ni kitu ya ukola ambayo ilikuwa pace in political differences. I want you to give you something. And again he continued to say, we wish to withdraw the case under section 87A of the penal code to create an enabling environment for peace between the accused persons and the state. I ask that the matter be withdrawn. The prosecution said, and who is the prosecutor? Nodin Haj. Allow me to give you something from uh, Dalston Omari, the lawyer from Azmio One Kenya Alliance. This is what he said today. He said that uh, he said that police action on political matters should be restricted. Let me see. I want to give something here. I consider the view that Parliament should move with speed and relying on a section that does not exist. The state should improve on how. Okay, the state should. Improve on law ref reform. That, that is Dance and Omari. I want to get something here. Did I get it clearly? Okay. Okay. You have heard Dance and Omari Vira Mesema that uh, our considered view that the uh, parliament should move with speed and underline the sections so that the state does not get embarrassed by relying on a section that does not exist. The state should improve on reform. Okay, let me repeat this. The state should improve on law reform, meaning that the state is using some articles from the constitution they quote wrongly hey <laughs> anyway ladies and gentlemen with the withdrawn the case which was withdrawn today of the six uh, azmio leaders who were supposed to appear before court because they were fined 50000 cash bail uh, from the first day after they were after they were arrested during the Yosukuya uh, Mandamon, the first day, now we can see clearly that whatever these people were doing, it was really wrong because how one of the Sharia, they wanted to revenge, they wanted to stop Azmio from demonstrations. Like any ikakuwa ngumu because Kenya it has a constitution, and again. Mambo yatachemka sasa. After kufanya hii yote, nitakuja nikwambie vile sasa rigathi la shawa ametengwa. For the first function ambayo imefanywa na deputy president au samani na rais leo. Deputy president hakuwa present. Kwa sababu tulikuwa kwenda kwa Tangura akakaribisha Martha Martha Mkome. Um, Martha Kome akakaribisha president. Meaning the deputy president ameanza kukua kufa nini ameanza kuwa skip stay tuned here i'm coming to give you full update and why ruto accepted the real dinga dialogue because who was supposed to lose this war i'm coming here to kuhapa but make sure kwamba you subscribe if you are new you can share give people this knowledge waambie kwamba just share. We want the Kunawara to wa, wa, wako greedy. Kunawara watu wako rudi. 
what they don't want to hear. So this is the right moment. We want to unmask everything. Thank you for watching this Kissy Hot TV. And by the way, my name is Nimtudens Kukurikuntu. And